Hello everyone, this is Tentacle Collector with another action figure review. And here are the House of X Jean Grey figure um, with the Tri Sentinel's leg. Um, so let's go over to packaging here. So, first, we get the House of X logo there at the bottom with its spelling Jean Grey at the bottom there, too, with these symbols. And here's the side of Jean Grey here with that same House of X symbol. And then here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Here's a picture of Jean Grey there, and here's all the figures in that collection to make Tri Sentinel. We already did Wolverine, uh, there's Professor X, Omega Sentinel, Jean Grey, um, I keep forgetting her name, Moira, uh, we did Magneto, and we did uh, Cyclops. And then, same side has, I mean, the other side has the same picture. Uh, here's the House of X logo on top, and then here's the bottom with the DCPI for you. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here's Jean Grey out of the packaging here. So first we get the tri uh, left, no, right leg. Uh, we'll go over that um, once we build them. And then we get this like little flower pot here uh, with a flower in it. You get the purple for the little leaf parts or petals, I mean. And you get this like green stems coming out of it. You get the green leaves around it outer part and then you get the green stem there and can, there's a little bit of marbling on the pop part you get the little blue thing there in the center for light kind of but besides that i don't really, i just think it's a flower pot i don't know what it really is so just let me know in the comments what it actually is i guess um and then she comes with two wide open hands for like using her telekinetic pop powers and then she also comes with two closed hands here but besides that, that's what we got for accessories. So here is Jean Grey here. So you get the uh, orange red hair uh, for hair here. It's not bright red, it's orange. Um, and then you get the orange eyebrows. You get green eyes, that's really good. I like the lipstick that she's wearing. You get the yellow mask that she's wearing too. And then she's wearing a green dress. She's got the green, I mean, yellow gloves. So not a whole lot going on there. And then you get this belt here for her X-Men symbol uniform. Um, you get the yellow around the outline there and then the red X there and then black belt around all the way around the character. And then just a skirt, uh, you get the yellow boots here. So th the boots here are sculpted in, so it's like cloth kind of for her. And then you get the heels in the back there. And then here's the back for her. Um, but besides that, that's all we got for the paint details for her. So let's go over to the articulation. So her head can move down just that far. It's kind of tough to move her head up and down because of her hair. You could probably move her head. Yeah, that's really it for moving her head up and down. And then she could look a little left if you just move her hair a little bit. And then right to same thing. Um, little head pivoting here. Uh, her shoulders can move out that far. 360 rotation around the shoulder. Single jointed elbows, not to 90 degrees, sadly. And you can rotate the elbows, too. Uh, her wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. 360 rotation around there. And she does not have, like, the ball joint near, like, between the top of the top torso and the bottom torso. It's at the hips. So she can go forward that far with that. She can go forward backwards that far with it she can go a little side to side it's not the best ideal but she can do 360 rotation around there but besides that not a whole lot going forward and backwards or side to side it's mainly for like just like going i don't know swiveling basically her legs can basically just kick out like barely any she has a thigh cut double jointed knees so that's good um her ankles can hinge down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot so i think the paint it, it's the detail for her is accurate to the comics i know that but the only problem that i have with it is the articulation the articulation is not that good i mean i understand the head moving a piece is pretty tough to do especially with the hair but for the hip piece i don't know why you did that they should have done it between the bottom torso and the to uh, top torso that one would have been a lot more smarter, but I guess she's going to be standing straight up anyways. And then her legs aren't moving to really kick out or anything like that. 
but so they could have worked on their articulation a little bit better um but besides that that's all i got this for this figure and just a reminder i have a twitch i do gaming there i'm going through the avengers uh campaign again through that so if you want to check that out it the links in the bio i mean in the description and my name on twitch is the hunter collector like my youtube and um yeah and just make sure you leave a like and subscribe and that's all i got